special event going on. Tonight we're doing a catering event actually, and it's not food catering, but retro equipment catering. So we're gonna take a, a large CRT, which I haven't shown off yet, so this will be a great chance for you guys to take a look at that CRT. And then we're gonna set up a stereo sound system in the room. Um, why don't I take you around the shop? Let's look at the equipment that we're gonna be using. I'll give you a little bit of information about each piece. And then you can see, uh, once we get to the venue, I'll show you how I've got it set up. We'll run a test. And then I'll come back and shoot some footage live of the event. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Just sit right back and take a moment and let's go and check out the equipment. All right, back here and looking at the very first thing is the Monster CRT. About this television, it's massive. I mean, it's 36 inches. It's, uh, it's one of the biggest tube TVs I've ever seen. I'll come around here and let's sit up in the back and take a closer look back here. So maybe you can see a little bit about the model. It's a JVC uh, made in March of 2000. The good news on this particular TV is that we've got a lot of inputs. We've got S-Video, Composite, and then we've got Component Video. And of course our regular RF. So this one, I haven't done anything internally to it. It is in pretty good shape as far as calibration goes. It will eventually need to be calibrated, but it is so massive it will be an extremely hard job just to get it apart safely and not to damage anything. But it will be something that we're doing. Welcome back. I'm going to uh, pull back a little bit so you can see this a little bit better. There's that front sticker. And I'm going to put a little sticker down the bottom and then there's the top sticker. But you can see this is a D-Series JVC, just a giant CRT. It works awesome. Um, I'm really excited to get it up and uh, the good thing is this, we're going to be displaying uh, music videos. Rather than having a VJ or DJ at this party, they're going to be using our, our services and on the tube we're going to be playing 90s videos all hot whatever you know most popular songs from the 90s well we do have a problem though there's not any internet service at the event so we're going to use some other equipment so i'm going to span or, or pan around here and show you what else we're going to be using at this trip yes ignore the kids stuff back there we're looking at this here um we're going to be using at this event. As I said, we don't have any internet service, so we're going to be uh, kind of taking a really old school approach, and we're going to be using this VCR. Now, what I did was I actually took this VCR and I recorded a four hour VHS tape that I bought a brand new VHS tape, and I recorded four hours of music videos from the 90s off of YouTube. So I took my YouTube streaming device and I put it in my back, and we'll be playing the videos on the display screen with the uh, very large television and then we're going to reroute the stereo not only through the TV but I've got this great old school Onkyo receiver which I featured in a video just a demo video one of the first videos I ever made about a year ago on YouTube so uh, just so you know let's go ahead and look around you can take a look at this VCR I've been intending to make a video just solely about it but I haven't really had the time. It is a very high-end VCR. It does have a lot of comb filters and uh, other things. It's been used in other tests that you might have seen, a lot of controls. And it's a commercial unit, so if you scale it around here to the back, you can see it's got a lot more inputs and outputs. And this one actually has that's a video in and out and all kinds of stereo in and out and BNC connectors, uh, everything you could use on a VCR. Then scroll down here to the uh, Onkyo receiver. You can see that we're looking at just regular coax in or uh, AVN, and we've got four speakers out, which we'll be using all four speakers. Let me go show you the speakers because they're kind of interesting. And this is our final item of this uh, of this setup. I've got this bag which is just loaded with all the cables you can see in there that we're using for the job, and. Then the last thing are these four large speakers. I want to show these two. These are Extron speakers and heavily shielded. Uh, they can take as much uh, power as I've ever been able to throw at anything. They are the loudest speakers I've ever seen. These were salvaged from a some kind of amphitheater in a uh, or a conference room in like a conference center in a hotel. That's what these are used for and just take a look at the back. I mean, they're super heavy duty, really loud. I got the full set of four from a salvage yard for about $20, and they work perfectly. I don't have an exact model number on here, 
But uh, if you ever see anything like this and you're looking for some great speakers, they're really good to set up with your CRTs or PVMs or anything because they're shielded and they don't interfere magnetically with your screen. So that's pretty much all the equipment. Uh, our next shot is going to be at the event and it's going to be with everything connected and I'll show you the demo ahead of time. We'll set up and then I'll come back and shoot while the party's going on so you can check that out too. And welcome back. We're live at location and I wanted to show off the setup so I'm just going to go freehand here and walk around and kind of explain what we've got here. This is a high school reunion 20 year it's not my reunion, but I am uh, doing this kind of catering event. And what we've got is we're outdoors in the middle of pretty much nowhere. So there's no internet service. And so we have to set it up like this. Here is the monitor slash television all set up. We've got some business cards here. And again, this is for a high school reunion from the 90s. So they have the speakers we're talking about are set up there. Here's an outside speaker. And then again, the television. And then the stereo with the VCR. And it works great. So when, but for now, it's hooked up. It's out on location. There's no Wi-Fi, so we have to use a video, VCR, and VHS combination. shot you can see there of uh, how we had things set up on location um, I also had that little video you can see uh, while it was working during the middle of the party uh, you can see how we had the TV set up with the VCR and the speakers and the stereo it was a real hit um, everybody kind of enjoyed it and then like to see the old technology uh, a lot of people weren't expecting that so uh, let me know what you think of this. What do you think of this kind of party or uh, maybe this kind of service? I'm going to try to do it some more and I'll make videos as I go. Uh, I think it's a little unique service that a lot of people will enjoy. Anyway, thanks again for watching Retro Tech. If you haven't subscribed today.